helpful to understand how dogs are different because the the underlying problem that people face when they're challenged with dogs with behavioral problems the common theme is that they relate to their dog in the way that they would relate to a human right so the assumption is that this is how humans learn um and therefore this is how my dog is going to learn but there's a few key differences and when we you understand those key differences it actually makes an immense you, you, your capability of communicating with your dog and achieving results and behavioral change just that that just opens up mm. so the first thing is to understand that dogs and humans are actually different animals with different needs and the most i always start my the first session with a client with i talk about dogs or animals and that's important for two reasons um one is the simple fact that they're not a human and it's unhelpful for you to your dog to view them as a human yes they're a family member absolutely um but often this lens of it's almost like just a a, a baby with with fur and um but that's unhelpful for, for your dog so the the other thing about kind of the the dogs are dogs are animals is that they are beautifully present animals are present and in the way that we're all now trying to be we're all just trying to not focus on the future and not dwell in the past we're just always trying to be present trying to be present you know there's this like i feel like there's like a cultural wave of being present you know mm -hmm. so dogs are the most incredible example of like being present they are whilst they can predict things and they can remember things they live in the moment they are always seeking to benefit themselves in that moment they're just doing what feels right for them in that moment and we can shape what feels right for them we can shape and influence their behavior and their choices but it's important that we understand our ability to communicate with them about a specific behavior that they're doing exists in the moment that they're doing it or within depending on the studies uh, 1 to 1.4 seconds wow. that's a really short window to communicate with your dog or or an animal mm. um, it's very short and so when we understand that and we really practice that all of a sudden if I, we come home you know you come home and your dog's been destructive people see the destruction and then they look at their dog who happens to be laying in the corner <laughs> and then the dog looks at them and then does this right their dog like avoids confrontation and then the human interpretation is guilty you know exactly what you've done you don't normally behave like this and then they go and punish the dog the problem is that's not what's going on for the dog the dog is in the moment right so the dog has destroyed your furniture for whatever reason maybe they're under exercised under fulfilled um you know or maybe they've got some other there's some other cause for that and then you come home and your dog observes you that your dog has dogs have been living with us for 40,000 years you know we've we've taken wolves we've domesticated them they've evolved into all these different breeds to do these jobs but they have thrived living with humans and they are experts at reading body language mm. and they mm. see you come into the room and your behavior shifts from this relaxed state to tense frustrated it, internally they know what's going on and then they avoid that confrontation they're like shift in energy your energy is intense i want to avoid confrontation this is a dog being yeah. sensitive. and then we interpret that in a human sense of that's what a guilty person would do mm. and then we punish the dog now what are we punishing the dog for whatever they're doing in that moment which is often just relaxing that creates confusion that creates resentment frustration it damages the relationship mm. so learning so that's just one example that's, that's a great example communicate with your dog in the moment and letting everything else go is super right. important and a great gift that dogs give to you the practice of being present like when i'm with my dog and i'm working with my dog it's like there's nothing else going on and mm. if i miss that moment that's it. I missed the moment to reward it, or I missed the moment to to um, correct the behavior or manage the behavior. It's it's gone. So it's it's a beautiful beautiful practice.